Midweek matchup between the 13th ranked Vanderbilt Commodores and Lipscomb Bisons. They're getting going a little early here. First pitch from Evan Harmon misses high and tight. Outscored North Florida 42 to 16 in that series. Austin hit by the pitch. Austin takes off on the 2-2. It's a ball. The throw to second is not in time. Covers a lot of ground on that left side of the infield, and he draws a walk. So a hit batter and a walk. He's really starting to progress as the season's gone on as he lines a base hit through the 5-6 hole. Austin gets the wave, throw to the plate, cut off, and Vanderbilt takes a 1-0 lead, four batters into the game. Ground ball through the right side, and that's past a diving Parks Balk into right field, and that'll make it 2-0 Commodores. In from second comes Diaz. Right center field, could be trouble, and it is. Three consecutive singles. Holcomb around third, he will score to make it three nothing, one out into the first. They felt it was a good idea to bring it back to Dugan Field. One hopper over to first, they get the out at second. Relay to first, not in time, and here comes Davis for the plate, and he scores sliding in to make it four nothing. Trace Wilhoyt. Just to clean that up as the one two swung on and missed, and that retires the side. Series finale Sunday afternoon. Into left field, and a good start for the Bisons offensively. Vergara with a leadoff single. Long pause from Cyber. Here it is. Little roller. Cyber will field it, and then he bobbles it. Everybody's going to be safe. The error just a moment ago by Cyber, and there's strike three looking for the first out. And that's past to diving Austin and into right field. They will hold the runner at third. Throw comes into the plate though, errantly. A run scores. Advancing to third is Lundgren. So the Bisons are on the board. Pitch from Cyber. One hopper to third. To second one, relay to first is not in time. A run does score to make it a 4-2 game. Here's the 0-1. Off the end of the bat to the right side, and they get the force at second to end the inning. Talking about what Tim Corbin had to say as Jonathan Vastine comes up for the second time. 11 doubles this season. Good for ninth in the conference, and he might have another one here. Hit to the right field corner, and he does have a stand-up two-bagger with one out. There's number 12. To the right side, and the throw to first in time for the second out. Great of a ball club Texas A&M is, as that scoots away from the catcher Kelly. Couldn't find the ball momentarily, it went into the dugout. So the run will score, and that makes it a 5-2 game. He's really emerged over the last month. Wasn't used a ton in February and early March, but first you'll have to deal with an 0-2 from Cyber. Got him swinging for the second out. Third strikeout for the Vandy righty. And for the Commodores right-hander. Strike three called, he strikes out the side. Cyber settled in. And Davis finds the five, six hole. So that brings up Polk. And he promptly doubles down the left field line. That'll go to the wall. Davis on his way to third. They'll hold him there. So the Commodores have him at second and third with one out. In the air, left center field. And that's going to be off the bottom of the wall. One run will score. They'll hold Polk at third. So back-to-back -back doubles for Vanderbilt. And that makes it a 6-2 game. And the four-run lead is back. Deep left field, Hetherington back to the warning track, looks up and goodbye. Three run homer for Logan Pote. And Vanderbilt takes a 9-2 lead here with one out in the top of the third. Yep, he got what he was looking for. Definitely things have gotten better over the last few weeks or so. 
That's now four consecutive strikeouts for Cyber. Had gone to multiple Vanderbilt baseball summer camps growing up, so there was some familiarity there between Corbin and, and Davis, and he really felt comfortable bringing in, obviously, with what he did at Sanford, too, as the throw from Wilhoyt at shortstop pulled Lundgren off the bag. On the right field line, long run for Will Lee. He has to play it on a hop. And a single for Polk in a three for three game. And he might have another RBI here. Instead, they'll hold Davis at third and wisely so. Evolve into many teams relying on the long ball to win them games. Vanderbilt stick into Old school baseball. Categories, Vanderbilt is in the top half of the SEC, except for homers, as that's driven in the air to right field. Should be deep enough to bring in the run. Catch made by Leaf on the front of the warning track, and Davis comes in from third to make it a 10-2 game. 2-2. Breaking ball misses, runner from first goes. No throw to second. Polk at third, Leneve at second. Down the right field line, that's a fair ball. Cut off on the track by Lee. Both runs will score. Throw is cut off on its way to second base, and Vanderbilt takes a 12-2 lead. Watch some classic baseball games from that era as he draws a five-pitch walk baseman, and that allows Jaden Davis to play more up the middle at second base. What a stop at third, and the throw to second goes into right field, and that'll bring in another run to make it 13-2, and Austin advances to third. As the runner from first goes, the pitch is a ball. And the three two misses away for ball four. Hard hit into center field. Austin scores, Diaz right behind him. Holcomb advances to third on a two run single and a three for three game for Jaden Davis. And that makes it 15 to two. Yeah, since that sacrifice fly yeah. by Kojal, so that's- Five batters now. Yeah, the sixth batter here with two outs. They'll get the third out here, ground ball to Wilhoyd at shortstop. Here's the pitch. Down the left field line, and that'll get down. First hit for Lipscomb since the first inning. And Vergara has a stand-up double. Here's a 3-2. Outside, and Wilhoyd is on base for the first time here tonight. And gone swinging for the second out. Short right field down the line. Holcomb comes in on it and has to play it on a hop and a run will score to make it a 15-3 game with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. He's hitless no longer. Solid single to center field. Wilhoit scores from third to make it 15-4. Portion of the scorecard. And that hit him. On swinging Coppage. And then the Florida Gators come to town. Gone swinging Fallon one away. Two or three at home and don't get swept on the road. That's your ideal goal. And there's a fly ball. Short left center field. And the catch is made in Alabama. Now Vanderbilt. Strike three called. And that's the old ball game. A big 15-4 win for Vanderbilt in this midweek contest. First time these two teams met here at Dugan Field in 14 years.